What's up everyone? Today I'm doing things a little bit different. This is not a testing shit or a demo video or anything like that. This is me trying out John Petrucci's live settings for 2023. When Dream Theater played in Stockholm earlier in 2023, I got a chance to go backstage and talk to John Petrucci's guitar tech Maddie, who showed me the whole rig and everything that goes in it. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link up here. You go watch it right now, okay? In the same video, John asked me for my settings for his Mark II C Plus amplifier. And then he did try them in the video and he said it was too out of control. So the idea with this video is that I load up the same guitar rig, try his settings and then try my settings. And then maybe you can hear that amazing rhythm tone that John had live because he does indeed have a sick rhythm tone live. It's incredible to listen to. So I have his amplifier right here. I have his JP15 guitar. I also purchased this SE Electronics VR2 ribbon mic, the same microphone as they were using live. John had two 1x12 cabinets backstage with two SE VR2 ribbon mics straight into the speaker. So I figured you know, I will be able to replicate his rhythm tone knowing that they would just angle the microphone straight into the speaker center. It would be really easy for me to replicate the tone in my room right here. So I have the same microphone. It's going straight into the center of this speaker right here. Right now I have John Petrucci's setting dialed in across the board right here. He's using the rhythm channel, channel 2 for rhythm. And then he's using this one for lead. And the discussion that me and John had was how we would set the uh, three band EQ of the channel. Since this channel is basically a Mark II C plus and you know, the old Mesa Mark amplifiers, the three band EQ is before the first game stage. So it's basically shaping the tone going into distortion. So this is the section where he would try my settings in that other video, okay? So right now I have it set up exactly like John Petrucci had it dialed in at the live show with the microphone and all. And this is the tone. <laughs> Yeah, man, that sounds good. extremely tight. Also, I'm not using any other gear in this. So it's just the amplifier and the guitar. No noise gate, no nothing. It's just the microphone, maybe a little bit of the stereo microphone back there just to give a little whiff to the video. Very cool. I think it sounds really good. Okay, let's try channel three. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Oh shit, I had it at 60 watts. Channel three. So back at the show when we were discussing settings, I thought it was a little bit weird to just have the ribbon microphone straight into the center of the speaker because it would be really shrill sounding and really like edgy. I, I would personally never use a microphone straight into the speaker uh, for at least when I'm doing the YouTube videos because it will be incredibly harsh. But listening back to the tone on the computer, actually it's not that bad. To be honest, I don't have to work anything with the high end or anything. So this ribbon microphone is extremely tamed in the high end. So it definitely works straight into the speaker. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so let's try out my settings that I suggested to him, which would be to just, you know, dime the treble and turn down the mids completely. Check this out. <laughs> When John tested these settings, he said it sounded out of control. <laughs> It is really unstable, but that's how I like it. <laughs> It is unstable. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I think that sounds pretty good. Just shows that the amplifier is just so kick ass. You don't need a boost or anything with this amplifier. Before the show, it seemed that John Pachucci dialed in a little bit more treble, a little bit less mids. And he was using that for the live tone right there. So maybe I changed his mind a little bit. You know? There you go, my little video for you right there. Obviously, John Petrucci is not playing in a fresh metal band. He needs to have a way more controlled type of distortion happening. And keeping the settings at this point, like he was doing, makes a lot of sense. I play in a death metal band, I would do it like this. And probably gain at max. I would also probably just drop to. So there you go. If you like my video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel, put a thumbs up, you can make a comment for engagement, or you can get a t-shirt just like this one from oldanglandshop.com. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you have a good day. Goodbye.